Hello everyone, I'm Count Crystal and welcome back to the belligerent Brandenburg campaign. Where were we? That's right, we're in a slight period of uh, national recovery. Poland, amazingly, is still pretty happy with us. Uh, it's great to see their uh, vital interest provinces are only continuing to be those held by the uh, Teutons and its vassals rather than actually our lands over there. The influential preacher, the head of our religion, has called on East Elbian workers to take up a holy cause and give themselves completely to the divine. Cool. Head of the Catholic religion has a number of duties. Perhaps we can make good use of this. Lose 14 man manpower. Get some religious zeal. Cool. Okay, we have got some Warmian separatists rising over here. Not rising, but uh, you know, moving towards a rising. This is the Warmians, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of a problem. As soon as we finish this core, we'll be able to state this whole area, which will be marvellous. Got some cathedrals. I'm not sure how the cathedrals will, intera will interact with the Reformation. We will find out together. Okay. The uh, the Kalmar Union does concern me because there's there's an event chain that Sweden gets to break out. Mm, we could already support their independence. Who are you allied to? Poland. I don't want to fight Poland. Sweden's independence is the thing. But I think Sweden is like whoa, They're actually so close. To staying, uh, staying loyal. I was about to say they're uh, definitely not going to stay loyal, but they actually are just about to f switch to loyal. So that could be a problem. But I mean, the institutions up in the north—they are currently very much up on tech. But the institution spread should be slightly slower to the north. Oh, it's already showing, it's showing, it's showing, spreading to Akashus, Akashus. Someone told me, by the way, that uh, Wittelsbach, you pronounce like the composer Bach, so Wittelsbach, like that, I'm guessing. Something like that, anyway. Still making so little money. We could always demand some support from the burgers. Because I'm happy to, yeah, let's do it, actually. I'm happy to constantly give them favours and then take money, and give them favours, take money, give them favours, take money. Because, like we've said, the, uh, the autonomy over here really is not a... Uh, not an issue. While there's still lots of separatism, I think we just basically accept that autonomy is going to be the state of the, the state of the game. A gift to the state. Like I said, we need the money. Now we can finally go up to our full force limit here. Excellent. Which will increase the rate at which our professionalism rises. And we're back down to Mahampalo. <laughs> Good in some ways. Peasants' War is uh, currently active, because of course we're below 50% manpower. Not ticking at all at the moment though, so that's good. If we had low stability it would, so we should uh, be careful when we do things like this. And when I say be careful I mean pray. Fingers crossed. Please don't lose three stability and give me a peasant's war tick, please. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, only one, thank goodness. How's our... Uh... Already got 100 points. We are cultured. Great, up to six now, which means it should be giving us 2.5 again, yeah? Only two now. Interesting. Was it 2.5 when we were over the force limit? I think so. I'm really looking forward to getting the next military idea group. That's going to be uh, going to be great. This isn't a fantastically important uh, tech, generally speaking, so. I don't feel bad going a little bit behind in order to pound out a uh, military idea group. Is a military idea group what we want? I think it is, right? Because manpower is the main limiting factor on wars. I know right now we have quite a lot of aggressive expansion. Actually, you know, it's ticking down pretty quick. Uh, manpower is, seems like the most important factor that's limiting our growth right now. So going uh, standing army seems like a good idea. Let's, let's take a look at these now for uh, what we're going to want in the future. Because the only ones that actually feed into each other are, yeah, if you have standing army and quality, you get professional army. Let's actually, let's just take a quick look at what professional army actually gives you. Give me a second. Get the wiki off my other screen. Because that requires that we take standing army, which I think we would want to do anyway. We looked at it last episode, or maybe the episode before that, and it does seem pretty good. Professional army. The professional army gives you 
First idea, 5% siege ability. 5% is not a huge amount, but siege ability is nice. Military treaties, 5% lower land attrition. Very nice. Formal military education, minus 0.5% uh, yearly army attrition decay and 25% more prestige from land battles. Pretty good. War veterans, 10% morale of armies. That is huge. Military reserve force, 5% reinforced speed, 10% recruit time. It's pretty good. It's okay. 5% manpower recovery speed, pretty good. 10% uh, artillery damage from the back row. Okay, but artillery is so prohibitively expensive that uh, I don't think that would be an issue for a while. And then the finisher is 2.5% discipline. And then the, uh, let's check out the other, which is the other one? It's uh, Grand Army. Let me just check out Grand Army, see if we want to go for that as well. Okay, Grand Army is 10% lower recruitment time. 5% uh, land maintenance, 5% national manpower, 5% national manpower recovery. This is bad. Grand Army is bad. The two good ones are 10%, 5% national manpower, 5% manpower recovery. But then all the other ones are reinforcement speed, reinforce cost, regiment cost, recruit time. I mean, land force limit modifier is in there. That's pretty good. But apart from that, so unless quantity seems really appealing, infantry cost, land maintenance, cav cost, Advisors up. Possible contest area is okay. Uh, artillery cost. So basically everything goes down by 10%. Right? Because the cost goes down by 5 and the uh, the upkeep of a unit is determined by its cost. I believe. It's some multiple of cost, I think. Uh, and if that's right, that means that essentially this is a 10% discount on army maintenance. Because you get 5 from that and then 5 from the cost ones. Then we get 10% land force limit modifier, 10% reinforced speed. That's, that's a lot of reinforced speed. 10% reinforced speed is pretty good. And national manpower, ooh, 15% national manpower is pretty good. But I feel like I'm going to get that after I get leadership to get all of these wonderful general pips. Fortification, I'm not sure about really. The land attrition is nice, the manpower is nice, but fort maintenance, fort defense, national garrison growth is just such a terrible modifier. Logistics seems pretty nice. Mercenary, I think we're definitely not going to get. We're a professional army. We don't use to, we don't use mercenaries. So yeah, we will eventually basically run out of army ideas to take. <laughs> At which point we can start. You know, I guess we'll have to intersperse some religious ideas. So that'll help balance things out. Lost the effects of manpower though already. Shame. Infiltration of Bohemia. Huh. So I think that happens when Bohemia has high corruption. We have 75 spy network. Now these, see these don't seem to be later again. So they haven't been delayed again. What could we do with all this spy network then, eh? We could slander merchants or something. We don't really have the diplotech for many of these. We could support rebels. No, we couldn't. We could only fabricate claims and we already have cores and all bordering provinces. So that's absolutely worthless. Never mind. Oh, we've been caught. I think that might be the first time we've been caught. For the entire campaign. Do, 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 do. Maybe we should take standing army. Just for the manpower. Uh, sorry, maybe we should take uh, quantity ideas just for the manpower. Next, though, standing army is definitely, definitely what I want. Hmm. There are no... Hey, he's got some more money. Good. There are no policies in this that come from idea groups. The policies are all just uh, just these ones. So we don't need to worry about trying to min-max getting the right policies to, to work together to give us stuff. Fort defense is pretty good. What is the R walls will not fall modifier? I don't recognize that. Oh, he's improved again. Wow. What are the odds of that? Hey, our first cultural conversion. Huzzah! So finally, finally, first one spreads. This these West Slavics have been uh, changed to our point of view or otherwise uh, dealt with, and the East Elban culture group now spreads another tile. Excellent. So, are we converting this province? No. So we don't appear to be doing any cultural conversion on. Ones that are in our culture group. It's unfortunate. That's what I was going to look up all those episodes ago. And I had two things to look up. One was the dynasty and one was something else. Uh, I want to know. Mayor and taxes. 
cultural union. How do we become a cultural union? Uh, is the cultural union's mechanic still available? Country rank is meaningless. The important number is you need a significant rank. No, someone says they think you need that. Cultural union will be granted with the second highest level of international influence. So, Reddit thinks we can get cultural union when we have uh, 1,800 population. And we're a little way off that. <laughs> we can make states. Nice. Well, of course we want to make West Prussia a state. Wait, is Danzig not in West Prussia? It is. Why is it being highlighted? It's strange. Oh, it wasn't. I was just on this province. Okay. West Prussia, make it a state. Absolutely. Uh, we don't want to core this stuff yet, though. Not full core. Don't need to. Fantastic. So that will uh, start dragging the autonomy down. Let it, uh, let it actually register it's in a state. Being in a state is one of the largest impacts on uh, autonomy in this mod. It's like 0.4, I think. Negative 0.4, obviously. No, negative 0.2. Still pretty good. Yep, so it's going down now. Only slowly, but still. Trending in the right direction. So we're not going to take this. We're going to take free tenancy. Lords to enforce their traditional rights or enforce duty on their tenants. Since traditional rights only applied as long as they were enforced, this led to a new class of free tenants, freeborn peasants, who could and did apply for protection under real royal laws. Cool. Is it time for you to get some autonomy? No. About favours to the greater nobles. The problem is we've been spend sending all our money over to the greater nobles. Which I don't, you know, I stand behind. I think it's a good idea to try and work on demoting the greater nobles. But keeping them relatively happy while you do it. And then we can work on their privileges later if we feel like we need to. The problem is, while you keep expanding, you keep conquering provinces controlled by greater nobles. And when you conquer a province, it doesn't just, you know, kick out the estate and then reassign according to your stuff. It's, uh... It keeps the local estate. So you constantly get some more nobles trickling in. And also the lesser nobles constantly request for promotion. It can be quite tricky to avoid occasionally promoting them when they you know when they demand it when you're in a period of general instability do, 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 do. january of 19 uh, 1420s when we can get that man i'd love osprusen i think we should probably yeah he's lost two of his subjects right wasn't riga i know riga is under livonian order that's right we should start uh, start getting some claims, more claims, on the Teutons. How long is it now? Oh gosh, it's only November. Holy hell. Okay, well, uh, let's stand ready then, because Poland is very likely to declare war on the Teutons very soon. And we want to make sure we're the one that gets this land. Okay, there goes the truces. So do we declare it? They're going to outnumber us at the moment. We can't get support from the lesser nobles because they hate us. Hmm. Um. Maybe they'll declare war on us. That would be great. Hey, Teutons, declare war on me. That would be ideal. If the Teutons declared war on us, then we could get uh, defensive picks out of our estates. That would be phenomenal. Uh, you know, I, I want to declare before the pole, Poles do. Because, uh... Oh, what? You've already given me an unlawful territory modifier in this province, Bohemia. Come on. Oh, God, that put them below 100. Not good, not good. Panic, panic, panic. Improve relations. Please get it back up before it, uh, it all goes to hell. I don't know what they'd actually change. They might try and break our royal marriage. Bishop of Elbing. Promote peace and order or take an interest in career. Promote peace and order. We don't have the money for advisors. Okay. Hopefully he'll flip back to friendly. There's the new cause. Come on, that was so close. And yeah, I definitely want to call uh, state this area because we've got a yeah, nice urban area here. Nice urban area here. Nice urban area here. In fact, this is all relatively urban. Sweet. How long to war with Saxony, for that matter? Not that long. 
got uh, yeah, a fair amount of aggressive expansion around here, but I think we could take this area. It's very, uh, it's relatively underdeveloped, this whole area. This Brewston is what I really, really want. Look at that. 1.2 ducats per year just from that one province. That's trade, that's gems, it's goods, it's everything. It's glorious. Gonna have to do something about the uh, Orthodox and Rumova presence, but that's okay. We'll manage. Do they flip back to friendly? Yes, they have. Good. Now, most of those things are trending positive, so it should remain above 20. What was I spying on? Or rather, who? These guys. No? Stetten. Yeah, Stetten. Oh, I love this event. <laughs> nice. Now that should uh, give us a nice little... You can see. <laughs> Look how clearly you can see who borders us on the opinion map mode, because they've all got that machine. So Bohemia as well. Not Bohemia, sorry. Poland as well, getting that uh, nice opinion buff. Oh, good. It was the it was the other general that died. Good. He was the one, 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 one. Mr. Mundane. <clears throat> I feel like the HRE princes should have more trouble fabricating inside the HRE, but not more outside. I guess it's just very difficult to apply that kind of modifier. So I'm not happy with the polls for revoking the the, uh, the Reichstag. National epic. Uh, it's not that expensive, and it's a lot of prestige. Let's do it. We're extraordinarily prestigious right now. Any decisions I might want to consider? Just tolerance. No, no, no. Oh, we could promote uh, Ostlang right now. It appears to only be applying to Newmark, though. So I think... Uh, why isn't it applying to this province? Maybe because there's unrest here? I'm surprised it only applies to Newmark. I guess the Ostlang area is... Uh, where would it make sense for that to be? Uh probably uh, just these areas rather than actually going into Prussia or Greater Poland. Hmm. Not sure. Well, I'm looking forward to seizing the Prussian lands. Up to 6,000 now. Let's check out the numbers arrayed against us in Prussia. So the Teutons themselves have uh, 3,000. Obviously uh, Warmia has 1,000. Uh, who are you? Pilantine. Pilantine has no men, so they'll probably have 1,000. Riga, good old Riga, oh, has. Where are they gone? Oh, a fool, where's our. <laughs> There they are. <laughs> Riga has 1,000, so probably two or 3,000 from Riga. Wait, but they don't have access. All right, so these guys shouldn't give access. They might give access to these guys. They might. They might not. <laughs> On the other hand, they might not. You can demote greater nobles again. Another 40 loyalty off from them. I think I'd rather, if once we get, if we attack behind them, I definitely don't want to do it. No, we're still attack ahead of them. Two techs ahead, ahead of some of them. Mm. Level with these guys. How goes uh, institutions? Oh, it's showing the wrong institution. That's feudalism, which is present almost everywhere. Banking is what we're interested in. So it is now spreading to uh, Hamburg. Probably because of trading in a nearby central trade. Oh no, it's just nearby province has banking. It's letting it spread over here now because it's spread to Friesland. Free slan, whatever. Okay, one more month, right? Yeah. No, two more months. Close. Close. Can't focus this till August. Do I want to focus mill? I may. National recovery has expired. Cancel the mission. Anything else I want to do down here? I don't think so. Kingdom of Prussia. So you gain a core on uh, the Prussia region, which I think is a full core, so we definitely shouldn't full core this stuff. Looking forward to being a kingdom. Free, uh, free uh, absolutism is good too. Doom. 
I think we could take them, even if the Northern guys came in. If we, we got some early good stack wipes and we had the estate support. Our heir is now just sweet. Coming along nicely is our Evelyn. 465. She is a absolute beast. Please don't die. Don't go hunting. No one let her go hunting. I would like a claim on Osprusen. The underhanded rogues in Wolgast. Remember where Wolgast is? This one, right. Why are you getting claims on me, dude? If you were going to declare war on me, you declare a reconquest, unless you were dumb. Well, not necessarily. Because you could get the uh, war dynamism on the cause. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, there is the idea group. Now, standing army, leadership ideas. Standing army, leadership ideas. This song is great. Let me turn this up for a second. Isn't that good? I love the Mayo and Taxi soundtrack. Do, 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 do. Actually, wait, is that not from the Mayo and Taxi soundtrack? I think that might just be a new song in E4. This is... Excuse me. Where is it? Shouldn't it be highlighted? In blue? There it is. Alba. So is that new to the Royal Britannia patch, then? We're not running the Royal Britannia patch, though. Huh. Anyhow. No music is playing at the moment. Alright, it's probably me on taxes. <laughs> Let's go standing army. I think it's the right move. Nobles hamper the military has expired. Now is the time. Now is the hour to move against the Teutons. They got a disloyal. If if the oh that would be the cherry on the cake, no, if the Livonians were disloyal. <laughs> I make it so easy. I'm gonna wait for the claim. Then I think we're gonna make a play. Do do do. Warmian separatists still. Uh, oh, revolt. Starguard. Which is uh, it's over here, isn't it? There it is. Currently has uh, minus seven unrest. Give us some autonomy. I'd really rather not. Let's ignore them. We might get some uh, rebels here, but it's only five years you get this turmoil for. There's a number of anti-blobbing uh, events, which basically have a mean time to happen per province rather than per country, to mean that they happen massively more common, more often rather, to uh, larger empires. Which, uh, which don't know is uh, one of them, I believe. Religious power struggle. Remain neutral. Three years of distracted religious leadership. Uh, two years of distracted religious leadership. Uh, it's just remain, remain removed. I want my uh, admin points. Okay, in the next episode, I think we will uh, strike again at our foes to the east in the Teutonic and Livonian orders. But until then, thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.